Do you feel like in some ways that this amazing market run, we're going to show a little bit later on in the show how much everything around the world is up, is starting to run on fumes, or can the Federal Reserve and the economy keep it going? Well, we've been on quite a roller coaster ride just in the last week with the Fed basically almost assuring the market that there'd be a rate cut in July, and now trying to take that back a little bit. I think the reality is that investors should be careful what they wish for here. Typically speaking, historically, rate cuts at the end of the cycle are generally not a good sign. Usually these happen when the economy is already slowing. The Fed is typically a little too late to act, and that spells trouble for investors. Now, this time is a little bit different. The Fed is extra cautious in this case. And what we're seeing from the Fed, especially right now, is that obviously there's political pressure, and they also want to be uh, extra careful with all the geopolitical and global economic risks out there. So we think the Fed is being cautious. The economy is slowing, but is still healthy. We think this is a fine time for investors still. But again, the Fed can't counteract all those problems out there. Well, some, some seem to believe that it can because the market keeps this run. Everybody says, well, it's the Fed. It's the Fed. You know, to your point, if the Fed is cutting rates, maybe they see something, you know, something in terms of a slowdown that should contract multiples of the market and that should maybe make stock investors a little bit worried, not nervous, but a little bit vigilant. Yeah, well, I think it's important to remember that the debate over whether the Fed should or should not cut is the economy slowing. That's a debate that's been happening for some time. The volatility that we saw last uh, year in Q4, that was around this exact same topic. There, there were outcries from market participants that the Fed should actually cut rates. And, of course, the market dropped and then it bounced right back. So there are a lot of issues out there. The question is really, is the Fed a symptom or is it the actual cause? And in this case, if the Fed cuts rates, it doesn't address the true you know, problems that there might be in the economy. And the problems right now that we see are, one, the economy is just fundamentally slowing. You know, we, it's not that there's an expiration date on the cycle, but we are late into the cycle. And the second piece is just all the geopolitical risk out there. And so the Fed, on any given day, on any given week, can basically try to counteract what's happening in the marketplace with those big major geopolitical headlines, but they certainly can't address the core causes of those problems. So what do we do? So our, our argument for most investors out there, especially you know, everyday retail investors, is to basically try to stay the course right now. We think a broadly diversified portfolio right now is still the best approach. You're basically hedging against any risk you might see out there, especially with the tenure as low as it is, but with stocks still doing quite well. Uh, you can basically hedge yourself either way. And you're not, you don't need to be concerned day to day with these headlines around global trade or even what the Fed is communicating to the market on a week by week basis.